Hey guys, welcome back to Foolcraft 3. Um, just starting a new day here. I've got a couple of things I want to do today. First things first, though, we're going to finish up these uh, ingots. Alright, so um, here is the setup for extended crafting. Uh, I actually made enough pedestals to cover the entire square here except for a few. Um, the machine that I had here making the singularities, uh, those are the only thing you need it for. So uh, after you're done making the ultimate singularity out of those, which I have right there, uh, once you're done making all of those and you do the singularity, you don't even need it anymore. Like None of those singularities are used for anything except for that, and the only use for that is the energy condenser. So unless you're going to make more than one of these, you only need one of those. Um, next thing on the list, ultimate crafting table. I went ahead and just went through all the steps here, uh, made all the different little pieces, and put them in the ME system as uh, patterns, and uh, crafted me up two of these ultimate crafting tables. One of them is going to be used for the recipe here and the other one we are going to actually craft on to make other stuff. Um, next we have a singularity that's not this one. It's a singularity from AE2. That one you have to make a matter condenser. Let's go over here. I said we're going to finish up the ingots but i uh, got a couple other things to fill you guys in on real quick. Um, so the matter condenser, you throw in a 64k storage component, switch this over to output singularities, and start tossing a bunch of items in there. Once you have 256,000 items in there, it makes a singularity. So I set up a bunch of these tier 5 cobblestone generators and went off and did all the ingots and things and came back and there was two of them in there. Plus like another 10%, a little more than 10% of one. <clears throat> so that went a little faster than I thought it was going to. So I've got two of those. Ah, run into everything. Why am I... Okay, I was stuck there for a second. Um, so those are done. The block of ender stars. Those are... Uh, nether star and four eye of enders. Nine times. And you make those in this ender crafter. Which is, like I mentioned pretty much exactly like the QED from back in the day. Uh, but the only recipes in this thing are the Ender Star and Enhanced Ender Ingots. And these, I believe, were part of the Ultimate Ingot. Let me see here. Enhanced Ender Ingots. I guess they're not. It's been a couple days since I loaded the pack up, actually. I've been playing the Stone Block, checking that one out. If you guys want to see a playthrough of Stone Block, let me know. It's basically Sky Block, if you don't know. Uh, it's basically like a Sky Block uh, mod pack, except it's got uh, just kind of a loose quest line to it, just to get you on the right track. And uh, everything is blocks of stone. It's like this. Like all the air spaces from basically take a Sky Block map, remove all the air, and fill it in with stone and that's all you have. Like, you have an empty room in the stone with one torch, and that's it. You don't get anything else. And you basically just go from there and make everything. But anyway, back to this. Um, so I went ahead and, and made eight of the nine ultimate ingots that we need to make the ultimate block. This thing here, block of the ultimate, you need nine ingots. So I got nine of all the different ingots and I went ahead and made eight of these off camera just to save time. Um, I'll go ahead and make the ninth one on camera so you guys can see it. But uh, So all of these basically are easy to get. So aluminum, nickel, platinum, iridium, gold, iron, you know all those. No big deal. Um, reinforced obsidian is kind of a new one. I never use this stuff for anything. But that was just obsidian and iron bars. Makes four blocks and every block makes nine ingots. So easy with that. Uh, the flint ingot is a compressed flint block that you cook. 
compressed flint block is just a nine flint so that was super easy uh, quartz ingots just six quartz makes an ingot that's from tiny progressions and that's exactly the same as how the redstone ingot works and the lapis ingot those are all the same it's just a two by three makes one ingot um, copper uranium solarium yeah we know all these that's old school stuff basically uh, the crystal tine ingot that's the one I had to make on that crafting table. I went ahead and did a second tier 4 so we could use it for later, but you only need, I think, a tier 3, maybe even a tier 2 to make that on. Elite. Uh, okay, you need a tier 3 or a tier 4. But yeah, there's the recipe for every one of these. You need 8 diamonds, 10 lapis, uh, 4 iron ingots, 4 nether star nuggets, which are just a broken down nether star, and two gold ingots to make one. So yeah, I've got eight of those there. Ninth one is right there. That one was a little little tricky just to figure out. I went ahead and had to do all that stuff first. But here's the ones I want to mention specifically. All right, enhanced ingot. No, enchanted ingot. I can read. It's in English. Enchanted ingot. You make that in an enchanter with one gold, one lapis. 8,000 RF in 10 seconds makes one of those. All right, so it's basically another gold and lapis round, right? Well, you need this enchanter. Here's the recipe for the enchanter. Three iron, two diamonds, a enchanted book of any kind, and a machine block, and we all know about that stuff. I've got that out here. Right, ignore this tank. It's sitting right here. Whenever you get to this thing, uh, it tells you, hey, by the way, you also need a complete set of bookshelves to get to enchantment level 30 around this block. So treat it like a regular enchanting table. So on top of all the materials and the power, because there's a, I've got a power cell underneath there, it's also powering this, uh, you also need all the bookshelves. So I had to go make a, a couple of more bookshelves and put them around out here just where I had extra space, because I'm going to dismantle all this later. Maybe. I don't know. I might just leave it. But, uh, yeah. Had to do that. And then I went ahead and just threw speed upgrades in there. Because why not? I've got enough grid power to last forever. So, that was that. Uh, we'll move that out of the way. Next one was the Evil Infused Iron Ingot. That one is kind of similar. You go back to the Enchanter. You get 8 iron and a Nether Star. That one takes 64,000 RF and a minute and 20 to make 8 so instead of making one, it makes eight. And so you have to do this twice because you need nine of those to make the ultimate ingot. So that one again. Uh, okay, now the demon ingot, that's the one that I had asked about. I went ahead and did a little research. This whole little story thing here basically is just like, hey, uh, zombie pigment in the nether, throw gold ingots into those little lava wells that you find in the nether in the nether fortresses and you can actually just recreate one on your own you just make a square of nether bricks and put lava in it and then you just drop gold ingots into it and they pop back out as demon ingots so that's how you make those they're just gold that's it um earlier versions of the mod that does that uh you didn't need the corners to this it would only check the cardinal directions for the nether bricks but the newer versions of the mod require the corners to be filled in. So you can just basically build this anywhere you want to, drop gold in it, and you get the demon ingots back. Um, a couple of times I dropped gold in and it just like got burnt up in the lava. It didn't tick correctly or something. So you may have to use more than nine to get your nine ingots of demon metal back. So do like 12 to 15, maybe. But if you're lucky, you'll get nine right off the bat. So that one, not too much trouble, just a little research. The hop graphite ingot. All right, so that thing, you basically, let me just look at it. So we're going to work backwards. Hop graphite ingot comes from hop graphite dust. All right, no big trouble there. You just cook that. What's this stuff? This stuff is... 
a hop graphite ingot. Let's see, where is it? Uh, to get the hop graphite dust, you have to put eight coke dust in an industrial squeezer. All right, so we make an industrial squeezer. It's right there. Power it, get an input and output, all that good stuff. All right, and then uh, we have to get eight of the, let's go back. Eight of the Coke dust. All right, Coke dust, we've seen that before, previous mods and other packs and things, right? The only way to get Coke dust in this pack is with the Crusher, also immersive engineering, the same as the uh, presser, squeezer, industrial squeezer. And you use coal Coke or blocks of coal Coke. Uh, one or nine, uh, respectively. The coal coke you have to get specifically by using a redstone furnace with a pyrolithic conversion augment in it. And that specifically allows for py pyrolysis and creosote production. So you have to use that augment in a redstone furnace with coal, that's that setup right there. Then you make all of the immersive engineering stuff, and then you get the dust and spend a whole bunch of coal and some time and power, and you get the hop graphite. So yeah, that's that. So that's all our ingots. Uh, let's go ahead and just start taking these out of here, dropping them in the table. The neat thing about this is some of these auto uh, re do the auto refill thing in your hotbar to make it a little easier. A lot of them don't, but some of them do. So it's basically just go down the row, click, click. Next set. A lot of these special ones don't refill correctly. Oh, I pulled the lead out. And that one. Quartz. Flint and reinforce obsidian. That can go over there. Alright, there they are. I wonder if I stare at this for a second, if the YouTube algorithm will be like, hey, here's your thumbnail for the video. I got a screenshot of this uh, a couple days ago, whenever I was working on it. Anyway, last step. Infuse enderpearl. And done. Instacraft. All right, there's all nine. We might as well just do this here, if it works. I wonder. Does it recognize regular three by three crafting? I guess not. Um, we can't do it there. That's not even a crafting table. All right, we're gonna go down here then. Use this one again. There we go. Block of the ultimate. And in the chest it goes. With all of our other stuff that we're collecting for... This. Right there. The energy condenser. Alright, so we got the shulker box. Well, let me start at the top. Singularity, done. Crafting table, done. Infinity Booster card came from the Dragon Kill. Uh, block of Ultimate, done. Singularity, done. Uh, statue, statue, done, done. Statue, 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 done, done, done. Uh, a couple of these I'm missing, but I had to use them for the Angel Ring and stuff, but I can get them again, no big deal. Torment to Enderman Head, I can make another one of those. I already made four. Uh, actually, maybe five or six, but those are no big deal. 
Uh, tier 6 minor controller I'm still working on. The ones... Oh, yeah, also I went and raided a couple of... Uh, I say a couple, it was like 15 to 20, somewhere in that range, of uh, end cities to find these upgrade charms, or these shards, I mean, because that's the only place to find them. The 9 to 22 stacks thing, I don't know what that means, but I only ever found one at a time. Oh yeah, there it is, 0 to 1 at a time. Mostly zeros. Uh, found a couple of those, found a couple of rares. I think I can make that one real quick. Let me go look. Pretty sure I threw them in the any system. Let's see. Shard. Yeah, I've got 10. So if I say rare, yep, there we go. Rare upgrade charm. I can get that one. But the epic, I've only got one of. And the chest, okay, the chest I have, the case I mean, I've got one of those, but I only have one of these shards. Oop. Close the thing. Yeah, the only place to find that is in city. 0.6% chance. I need eight of them. Uh, anyway, uh, I might as well take these out. Hello? A little bit of keyboard lag for some reason. Might as well take these out and put them over here in the chest, just so I remember to uh, work on that. So these are not done yet. That's for that item. And then I got to get all the statues. Um, automation interface is for that thing later. Yeah, okay. I think that is going to do it for the episode. The only other thing I'm going to have trouble with is the Pinkinator. Because I rarely use Botania for anything. And I don't know where to get this from, so I'll have to do a little bit of look up on the Pinkinator. It says apply directly to Wither. I seem to recall a pink Wither boss at some point, somewhere. Might have been way back in like Attack of the Bee Team or something. Like a long time ago. Hmm. Anyway, um, if anybody has any tips or tricks for Batania, let me know. But until I get around to it, I've got this nice fancy room I'm working on very slowly, <laughs> doing all this other stuff. But once all this crafting is done, I can start decorating this room. I've got all my Botania stuff in here. Literally every Botania item in my base is in this crate. So, yep, i got a little bit of work to do on that. Anyway, uh, that'll do it for the episode. We made our block. Thanks for coming by. Thanks for watching. If you're enjoying, uh, go ahead and subscribe so you get notifications. And until next time, I'll see you then. Have a good day.